In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this diagonal image hover effect in WordPress by using Elementor. Here with this amazing hover effect, you can also add a link with each of these image sections. So we can create your services area, team member, portfolio or any kind of image area by following this tutorial. So without further ado, let's see how can we create that. So inside this blank page, I want to create a three column layout. And first of all, I want to make this section to full height. So make the height to minimum height and make it to 100 VH and also give it a background color. And then I want to take an inner section inside our this first column. Here we don't need our the second column. So let's delete this. And first of all, I want to give it a background image. So from here, let's go to this image option and choose this one. We also need to make some height for this section. So from this advanced tab, I want to do this by using some padding. So make it in percentage and make it 100%. Now we can go back to the style and let's adjust this background image, make it to center center and also make the size to cover. Okay, now if we see it from our preview, we can see it makes a perfect square size image. Now I also want to add some background overlay. So from here, let's choose a color. And on hover, I also want to set an another color. So after that, I also want to take an another inner section. Let's drag it to under here. And like before, I also want to delete our this second column. And inside this, I want to drag an heading widget. Let's change its text make its alignment to the center and also change its color to fully white. From the typography, let's also change its font to poppins, make this font size to 30 pixel and also make the weight to 500. And lastly, I also want to make this portion of this text to bold. So let's select this and click on this bold icon. Now with this text, I also want to add those lines. So from here, let's drag this divider widget, give its color to white and also make its weight too and also reduce this gap. And here I also want to take another one. So let's duplicate this, drag this to the bottom of this heading. Let's also reduce the gap between this text and these lines. So from this advanced tab, I want to use some negative margin, minus 10 pixel. Then here I want to place this whole inner section at the middle of this image. For this, first of all, we need to add a class with our this second inner section. So go to this advanced tab and add this diagonal. And then we need to go to this section settings and also need to add some custom CSS. And by the way, to use this custom CSS feature, you have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you didn't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Let's paste this code and you can see its position has become absolute, but we also need to make it to the center. So for this, here go to our this parent column, this one, and make its vertical alignment to the middle. And here is some spacing problem. So to fix this, we need to make its padding to zero. And here I also want to make some border radius, like 20 pixel. Okay, now before adding our animation, I just want to adjust our spacing. So from the advanced tab, I just want to make some margin, make it percentage. For those lines, we also need some spacing here. So go to this inner section and also make some padding. And lastly, to enable this diagonal animation, we need to go back again to this section. And here we need to again paste some more custom code. Okay, now we can see it's perfectly working. So here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will give all of this to my website. From here, you just need to copy and paste those codes. So now here our animation looks good, but we need to add a link over here. Otherwise, just hovering on this image section doesn't make it so useful. But the problem is, there is no link option with any inner section 
or any columns so we will do that by using and button widget let's go to again here and drag and button widget at the very top of our this outer column and if we open our navigator here you need to make sure this button has been placed at the outside of this inner section so for this button here i want to remove this text and also make this alignment to the justified and here we can put a link then to place this above our this section we also need to make its position to the absolute to make it full height we need to go to this style settings and make some padding so let's select in a percentage and from the top make it to 50 percent and also at the bottom so now from our preview we can see it's perfectly fit above our this section so lastly i want to just make this color transparent now here this link working perfectly but you can see now our this overlay color doesn't change this is happens because we are actually hovering over our transparent button this image section is actually goes behind our this button so it's not responding with our mouse hover we can fix this very easily let's just go to this button settings and again go to this custom code and paste this so here right after this background before this semicolon we need to use the exact same color which we have been used for our this overlay hover color so again go to this inner section settings go to this background overlay and from this hover option let's copy this color and we need to paste it to here okay now this link is also working and also our background color so now i want to make more two columns let's right click on here and click on duplicate and one more time let's also delete our remaining empty column now here for our second column if you want to change this text you need to right click on here and open the navigator and for this column we need to go to this second inner section and inside this this one is our heading here just replace this text doc care then to change this image you need to go to this inner section and from here let's select this puppy's image from the background overlay i also want to change this overlay color and here for this column if you also want to change this hover background color you need to go to this columns button widget and from this css you can also change this okay so lastly let's also change our this content and it's tiger care okay i think only a few people needs these kind of services but it's just a demo content you can place your own content here okay so that's it for today if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video